Let's start by um, discussing just the name capoeira. Yeah. Um, so capoeira, uh, it's practiced in Brazil, and so a lot of the, the songs and the move, movement names are all um, in Portuguese. It's, it's part of that cultural transmission. You know, capoeira is a newer martial art as far as martial arts go, and so what's really great about that is it hasn't become you know, over time, right, like the context under which the people that began certain martial arts becomes more obscure, just as a result of time. Um, and so one of the beautiful things that we get to embrace in capoeira is, um, yeah, is the culture under which it was born, you know. It was practiced by African slaves brought over from various, uh, you know, regions of Africa, mainly, you know, uh, Ghana and Angola. Um, and so they didn't always have the same language, but they, they had their culture and the, and the culture of their music was really something that they were allowed to, to keep. And so that's why Capoeira has done to music in addition to some other aspects of it. Um, but all that is to say that we get, we get a connection to what these people went through, through the songs. They, they can be almost like historical word of mouth retellings of, of events that have passed. Um, but it's also a transmission of the culture itself. So Brazilian culture today was heavily influenced by the people that were um, ex-slaves at that, you know, moving forward in time. And, um, so it's great. We get to we get to learn about Brazil, and I think that that's a really important piece in order to be good at capoeira is to is to integrate um, the various aspects of that culture because you know each culture is different. Even if you just look at the language and how things are phrased and the sort of paternal phrase, you know, it informs the way that we process and think about life. So it's an important part to learn um, how to at least you know pronounce some words in Portuguese. So the first one we're going to practice is capoeira. So let's hear you say capoeira. Capoeira. Capoeira, not bad. He already gave you a little bit of primer on the R sound. Go with the, <laughs> go with the, tell them about the R. Yeah, and so like um, capoeira isn't, the R isn't hard like it is in English. It's not capoeira. Um, and it's not really necessarily a rolling R like you'll see in, in uh, Spanish. Um, it's more, it's more clipped. It's like a, it almost creates like a, the sound of a D capoeira, um, but it's not a D. And it's not capoeira. Duh. Capoeira. <laughs> capoeira. Good. Capoeira. And another, capoeira. another thing is that capoeira. most of the words in Portuguese, the cadence is different. So in English, we tend to emphasize kind of the first syllable as we're talking. So, yes, I am going to see you in. Three days. I don't. It's hard to think quickly on that. But um, in Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, um, the emphasis is on the second to last syllable. So it's not the last one. It's not capoeira. Capoeira. It is capoeira. 
Oh, on the second. Second to last. Capoeira. Capoeira. Oh, cool. I yeah. You'll started. get it. You'll get it. Hey, if, so, if for now you sound like a little bit of an Italian, I think you're, you're <laughs> well. Hey, capoeira. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's capoeira. Yeah. But I would okay. tend to be like the English accent. Capoeira. Capoeira, right? Yeah, is what we would, you know, I hear people say that sometimes, you know, and it's a process. And so wherever you are, just know that and somebody may correct you and it's not meant, I mean, they may be meaning to poke at you, but it's just an opportunity to be like, oh, I didn't know that about the language. Great. Because there's so much. There's the language and, and the way the music sounds and all of that. Um, no. And so I want us to actually start working on some music. Yeah. Kibucha on the Sunday clean show. That it actually ha it's supposed to be all good, but it's got no sugars perfectly okay. Natural flavor, which is a beaver gland extract, some toxic shit that they allowed them to name. The title of it is natural flavor. So they're able to put it in, and people think, oh, this is just natural flavor, but it was natural strawberry flavor or natural lavender flavor. Uh, they'd say natural strawberry. Yeah. Or they'd just say strawberry, yeah. strawberry flavor. Yeah. So they allowed them to do this. Now let's rock! Uh, I don't want to take it. concentrate on their own music if they hear it bleed over from the other shit. Let the midnight special Yeah, so I'm getting a position as a model because I got a nice A cup. Want a little milk? Okay, go. Umbrella on the shoulder. Piece of paper in the hand. 
Okay, I, I'll note those um, arrows. Thank you. Colors. Colors. Over and on the shoulder. Piece of paper in the hand. Gonna give. Are you turn loose. Gonna, right. Well, I'm calling that cat. So that must be, she's going to tell the bo big boss here, quit take persecuting my husband. Jail. Take him out of the jail. Oh, take him out of the jail, yeah. I see. Yeah. To lose my man. And then he goes straight. At the midnight, this thing's going straight. What we have here is a lack of communication. Yeah. Ever see, um, um, what was that movie? Like, okay, it's left. It's left. That's the chorus. Okay, hit it. You know, you see all these people tuning up and but and doesn't sound any different from sober. Just get there and jam it. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Oh. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. oh. No, I'm just oh, playing to go straight. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna have you play a basic rhythm. Usually uh, in Capoeira we don't play on a djembe like this, um, but this is what I have, so I, I use it. Um, djembe's tend to be really, really loud and vocal, and they can overpower other things. So in general, um, if people aren't using a traditional uh, capoeira instrument, which is the atabaki. So say atabaki. Atabaki. Not bad. Yeah, high five. Woo. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Patty cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, an alternative that people will use is a conga drum. A little bit more, you know, it's still loud, it's still able to articulate different sounds, um, but not quite so like as the djembe. Very, very loud. Um, but we're gonna have you practice. So oh, oh. Um, what we'll do is you're gonna start, it's it, it's four beats, but you only hear three three sounds. So one, two, three, four. And when I hit in the middle, I form my hand into a cup, and it's not a slap, it just is a I don't know how to describe it. So it's not a it's not that, I'm not slamming onto it, I balance it. It's just the, the drum makes my hand lift back up, so I... And then the, mid, the note here, I hit with kind of this part of my hand. Right? So let me first hear you make the different sounds, the two sounds. This goes between your legs. And you, you tilt it a little bit off of there so that the sound carries. And you gotta hold it with your legs a little. And let's hear. Good. Oh, bounce. Mm. Keep it there. And for now, we're just gonna be. It doesn't matter whether it sounds good, but I just want you to keep practicing the sound.
Yes, there it is. keep you jamming then I um mm -hmm. you can get talk you to go in the studio. Yeah. Yeah, you go. Right? Okay, well. Okay, wait, go. Um want me to follow you go Okay.
it from. And you better not. Scrabble! Get rid of that bad friend of us, Scrabble! Chair and set it up if that works for you. He's recording some stuff. Um, Explain this instrument. So uh, th there is a bit of a call and response. So I might have you repeat the word after me. This is called a you bidding bow. Find something else to put on so that we can play three drums at once. Bidding bow. How are you getting? How are you getting pitch? Like how are you getting the pitch? Yeah. So um, <laughs> it is. It is the stone. So when I hit it. I noticed there was a different pitch here than there. And it, if I was to hit it up here, it would still make the same sound. It would be a little bit more dead. But when I press the stone into it, and then the third note, which is the most tricky to do right, is uh, a note where you're barely touching the rock. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a but we call it a buzz note, um, and we don't usually play that out here. It's a bit jarring, and so we just combine those. Um.
Now play a super song. I'll turn it off. Can you do just... See, she's got it. Wait, wait. Let me see. Let me just... See. She's got the worst. All marked out. And here's the arrow we're talking about. Where it just jumps. It's very confusing. Because Umbrella on the shoulder, piece of paper in the hand, and that arrow means boom, hit the next one. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. You gotta come, Miss Rosie. How in the world do you know? Well, you know by April. And the dress she wore, umbrella on the shoulder, piece of paper in the hand. We're calling to the captain. Turn to lose my man, let the men I spend. In the morning, hear the big bell ring. Where you march to the table, you meet the same damn thing. Knife and fork on the table, ain't nothing in the pan. And if you say a thing about it, get in trouble with a man special. Shine light on me. Let the midnight special shine ever love light on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ever go to Houston, you go to Houston you right. No, you better not squat. Better not fight. Jimmy Boone to take you down. If you say a thing about it, good. Oh, oh. Bet you about a dollar, you'll be sugar land bound.
slightly grayish. So slightly improvement. No more black stuff. Where are we going now? Whatever you feel like. Uh, are you I'm with you, it? girl. I'm with you. Are you taping it? I'm taping everything. Oh, God. Everything. I should have like 10 cameras on me at all times. And that's really lame. Yes, everybody's got their 15 minutes of pain, but that shit is over. Now it's back to people that are truly entertaining and worth watching.
Yeah. Which one? Which one? Taping everything, I tell you. Especially you and Like you're like. I've been watching the jazz people. Nice. I'm not good as them. Well, you gotta practice every minute. These people like practice 14 hours a day or some shit. Okay, go. Well, down the cup, Miss Rosie.